Hello, everyone, and welcome to Conversations with Matt DeLockery. Today, I want to talk about Christianity and the LGBT community. Now, I know what most of y'all are probably thinking. You're thinking that I'm going to get into a question of whether or not there is or is not anything right or wrong with non-traditional sexual relationships. That's not happening. I know there's a lot of people who'd really like me to do that or expect me to do that or be very upset if I don't comment on that. But the fact is, if I do that, then nobody's going to hear the point that I'm trying to make. And the point that I'm trying to make is that we in the Christian community have treated LGBT people very badly, and we have no right to do so. So, why? Well, to begin with, as far as I can tell, what they want is to love someone and for someone to love them back. It seems pretty basic to me. And as far as I understand Christianity, that's a God-given desire, to want someone to love and to have someone love you back. That's perfectly right. Now, the worst criticism I think you can level against them is that maybe they're looking for love in the wrong place, or maybe they haven't resisted their sexual desires as well as they could have. Okay, straight Christian. Have you always resisted your sexual desires as well as you could have? Really? What's your browser history say? What did it say before you cleared it? All right, then. Shut your mouths. If you can't walk the line, don't be telling somebody else how to walk it. The fact is, we've demonized them. We've made them into sort of like these, the worst sinners ever. And there's a couple of points I want to make on that. First, if you're a conservative Christian and you believe everything the Bible says and you take a hard, you know, right line on on everything, you're still treating them badly and and incorrectly because what did Jesus do for you? Did he not love you so much that he died for you while you were still a sinner? So what do you think you're supposed to do for other people? Aren't we supposed to be living and acting and looking like Jesus and following him and, and representing him to the rest of the world? Does that mean anything other than that we're supposed to love other sinners and die for them? What do you think you're supposed to do for your neighbors, your sinner neighbors, including your sinner LGBT neighbors? If, if that's what you believe, if you are a, a, ver if you are a conservative Christian, then how can you do anything else but treat them like Jesus treated you? And as far as this worst sinners ever thing, I want to focus on that for a minute. Because if you read the Bible, the people that God is most mad at most of the time are not people who have com committed this particular sin or that particular sin. The people that he is consistently and regularly mad at across time are the people of God who refuse to act like the people of God. Now, if you've been paying attention to anything that I've said in the rest of the series up to this point, then you'll know that I think there's quite a lot of things wrong with American Christianity. And I don't think I've gone out of a limb here. These are pretty basic things that we've seriously messed up. And if that's the case, then we as the people of God have not been acting like the people of God. Do you think he's happy with us? And if not, do you think we really ought to be throwing stones? In my opinion, we have taken the Lord's name in vain. For something to be in vain, that means that it is like a mist or a fog. You know, it looks like there's something there, but then you reach your hand out and try to grab it, and you come back with nothing. There's nothing of substance. There's nothing real there. And... What I think is happening is that when people look at us, they see people who claim to be the people of God. And if they're looking to get closer to God, that seems like, you know, people you might reach out to. So they reach out and try to get a hold of us. And they come back with nothing, at least nothing of substance. They're hoping to find someone to help them get closer to God and they come back with nothing. We're missed. 
we're fog. We have taken the Lord's name in vain. We've called ourselves God's people, but are empty. We're calling other people sinners and acting like they're the worst sinners in the world, when in reality, it's us.